Welcome to the Paul Robeson House and Museum in Philadelphia. Paul Robeson was one of the most interesting people of this past century. He was interesting because he was an actor, he was an author, he was a singer, he was an athlete, he was a linguist, an all-American hero. But most importantly, his activism was a key part of who he was. He was an individual that the United States wanted to close down because of his stance in reference to uh, supporting people who were uh, disenfranchised. And one of the things that we're trying to do here at the Paul Robeson House and Museum is to preserve his legacy. A legacy that speaks to not only his day, but of course today. The most important parts of the house would be uh, the first room upstairs and also the last room in the back because that was his bedroom. In the first room, we talk about his political activism. Here are some of the pictures that we have related to his protest days and also the script from the Un-Americans Committee uh, during the time that they questioned him. And interestingly enough, during the time that he was before that uh, Un-Americans Activity Committee, he refused to ask, answer some of the questions that were asked by the Senate, in particular McCarthy. His legacy speaks to your life and my life today because we are going through some troubling times in this society. And the same kinds of things were things that were being protested during his lifetime. People being disenfranchised, people being shut out of all types of things, issues related to um, uh, people having their rights taken away, as we know, especially when it comes to people who want to cross our borders. Some of the important parts of the house, of course, would be in our cases. We have various books that have been done by individuals uh, over the years. Certainly it's not a complete a collection, but it is a collection of some of the books that are important that talk about him. Uh, we also have his bedroom where he slept, and of course the chair that he sat in to, to rest. Many people thought that he was bedridden the whole time that he was here, but that was not the case because many days he spent out on the porch or walked up to friends' houses uh, and took uh, different trips out uh, of the house. And I think you'll also see some of the records that uh, he has recorded, uh, some of the CDs that he's recorded. And one of the most important things, of course, is Here I Stand, a book that he wrote and a video of him uh, uh, related to that book. You'll also see uh, some of the uh, things that he did in terms of eating and the plate setting that we have here. And we also have just added new photos of his wife, Islanda Good Robeson. She was a powerhouse in and of herself. And many people don't realize how powerful and, and how influential she was. So we're trying to bring that to the forefront also. Specifically, we need help in a couple of areas. The first, of course, is to be able to get his message out and to keep it out and to uh, keep it alive because one of the things that happened as a result of the activities that took place in the 50s when they took his passport away was to shut him down. And that means that he was unable to uh, sing, act, or do anything in public places because they did not want him to carry his message forward. That's the first thing. The second thing is that I would welcome people donating to this house so that we could complete the renovations of this house and the administration building and that we would be able to physically 
have the materials and documentations and things that we could share with the public, not just here in Philadelphia. This is a man who is a worldwide figure, so we're trying to get the message back out worldwide. I would like to close by saying it's very important that our young people begin to study and know who this man is.